We got yeah. a 41 pound roasting hog. I now, got it. Uh, I've never done this before. Rusty nail. So it's really cool. I've, honestly, I've cooked a whole hog several times. We've done it at Memphis in May, yeah. you know, with sugar fire. But I've never done it this way on the Weber yeah. Uh, yeah, this is ranch cool. kettle. So yeah. it's really neat. What we did yesterday is we took the inside out, we opened it up. Uh, this came with the, the cavity closed, yep. but the way we wanted to cook this was we wanted to do it um, butterflied. We um, exposed a lot of those proteins, remember? We took Correct. out the membranes. Yes. yes. We exposed some of the hams on the shoulders. Took some membrane out, a little hanging <clears throat> meats. Exactly, anything like uh, you don't want to eat, don't stuff, eat right? any veins. So we did that, and then we took a uh, apple juice uh, blues hog. A solution we injected this thing as much as we can yeah, yeah and then we seasoned it liberally got a bunch in there overnight we uh had it skin side up and we put a bunch of salt all we did was put salt on that skin what now, we wanted I was, that i was blown away about how much moisture came out of that skin yeah it's like a lake salted up yeah, yeah crazy so what we want to do is you know our point here is to have you know, awesome, flavorful, seasoned, juicy meat. We also want the skin to get nice and crispy. Yeah, yeah, the way yeah. we need to do that was take a bunch of the, the And you moisture. can eat that skin, right? Oh, absolutely. Oof. But <laughs> that salt's gonna draw out a bunch of that moisture. It's gonna settle on it. We took paper towels this morning, cleaned it all Wiped up. Wiped it down. A significant amount. What we're gonna do now is we're kind of just kind of tuck this under. We're gonna get it on the Weber kettle, but I want to take uh, some more salt while it's on there. Let's put a little bit layer on it. Okay. Let this go, like I said, for about three hours. Three so hours. Skin looks. And at that point, what we can do is kind of wipe it down. If we wanted to put some oil on it, make yep. it shine a little bit. Now you'll go, you'll go off color before you flip it, right? 100%. Okay. You know, we don't even have a thermometer on this thing. Yeah. So we're cooking by instinct. We're looking at airflow. I'm looking at the way the, the smoke's coming out of the grill. We'll lift it up every now and then. Just take a look. Okay. That's kind of like cooking by instinct. All right. And we got all day to cook. Yeah, Might as well just day. go. Let's do it. That's let's beer roll. ain't going to drink itself. It's right. Let's, let's go, baby. go. Let's get this thing on. All right, let's do it. A little sizzle, boy. Yeah, a little sizz. Now let's do this. I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt on her. All right. Close her up and let's go. Let's go. Ready? Pork butts, baby. Round some pork butts to the drum. We got the drum set up where we got a hot side, cold side. We got a pan on one side and then we got the open fire on the other. We'll get these guys going. They look beautiful. So uh, while we got this hog going, we got uh, some butts going as well. We got Kyle bacon wrapping, all kinds of things. Who knows? We got, you know, bacon shortage because of him. But uh, we're also going to do a whole chicken and I'm going to do a, <laughs> a little spatchcock. Something quick and easy that you can do in your backyard. Uh, we've got this whole chicken right here. Um, and just take some kitchen shears, something you have, something really sharp. What I do is go up that backbone, just follow that backbone right through those thighs. You're gonna cut through that and just follow it up. Uh, while you have it open like that, you can get everything out of it. Like I said, keep that stuff if you want. And then take your scissors, easy. See how we got it butterflied open. You could even take your hands and just do a quick one of those. And what we wanna do is go straight through that, really sharp knife, and it'll pop right through. You heard it. Let's follow it down. Boom, and now we got two little halves. And at this point, you can hang these, you can cook them just like this. Uh, I like to just clean them up. You know, some of the stuff in the cavity out that you don't want to eat. Kind of dry them off a little bit. And uh, this is just nitpicky stuff, but I like to go through them. And like I said, anything I don't want to eat, I'm just going to take off right now. Now we get uh, some just some salt. I like to do a little salt bath on these. And we're just gonna take it all through the cavity on the inside and actually get under the skin. See how it's got a little pocket in there? Get some salt in there, get down in there. You can get it down into that thigh and that leg. Just massage it down in there. You know that chicken loves a good massage. Put these in a half pan, cover them up with the uh, salt and I'm not gonna do like, just like a little one of these. Before we put them on, you know we gotta hit them with the Gold Star Chicken Rub, baby. We're gonna get that Gold Star on them. We get them on the grill, probably an uh, hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, and they're good to go.
We're at the Smitty Freedom Festival. We got a chub of bologna, we need some snacks. All right, we got that loot and Bodie. Honey gold, I'm gonna layer on. Get some Arizona Cajun. All right, let's put it on the GMG. A little peek at this little hog. Ooh, Ooh. look at all that juice already. This looks so we put good. it on at 9 a.m. It's 12:30, three and a half hours, about a half an hour. We flipped it over. We just wanted to take a peek to see how she's looking on this side. And the color's looking nice. We can see some bubble in there. Look at that. Yeah. Come on, look at that. Let's go. That's good fat rendering right there. <clears throat> so. As it sits right now, I think she's beautiful. We don't need to mess with it. We'll probably go another half an hour, and then we'll probably do a little flip because uh, this is where our heat's coming from. So let's give it a spin. These hams need a little bit more. All right, All right so cool. where are we at? It looks good, man. What, six hours, seven hours? We cooked it about six. It's been resting for about an hour and a hour and a half. We got to 200 in most areas. So now we're gonna build a little taco out right here. That All smells right good. There. Yeah, get in there. See all that pulling Whoa. nice right there? Whoa. Beautiful meat. And uh, you like salsa? Oh yeah, load me up. Let's go a little bit of red sauce we made earlier. That's how you do Let's a go. whole hog jammy jam Let's right go. there. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Give me. Nothing better than that. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss a thing.